Ever wonder why rubber adhesion to rigid materials is so crucial in many industries? Well, it's all about ensuring quality and performance. These test methods specifically designed for specimens prepared under standardized conditions play a pivotal role. They provide invaluable data for the development and control of rubber compounds along with refining manufacturing methods. Particularly when it comes to metals, adhering rubber properly can make a world of difference in controlling vibration in many products. Now that we understand its significance, let's delve into the specifics of ASTM D429. ASTM D429 is a set of test methods that measure the static adhesion strength of rubber to rigid materials. This standard is like a rule book for rubber adhesion featuring eight distinct methods. First up, we have method A, where a rubber part is assembled between two parallel metal plates. Uh, this method is straightforward, uh, allowing for direct testing of the rubber's adhesion to the metal. Next, method B involves a 90 degree stripping test with the rubber part assembled to one metal plate. This method tests the strength of the bond under a peeling force. Method C takes a different approach, measuring adhesion of rubber to metal with a conical specimen. This method tests the bond under a pulling force. Then we have method D, the post-vulcanization, or PV, bonding of rubber to metal. And this method tests the bond formed after the rubber has been vulcanized or heated. Uh, method E is another uh, 90 degree stripping test, this time with a rubber tank lining assembled to a metal plate. Method F involves a rubber part assembled between two parallel convex shaped metal plates, testing the bond under compressive force. Method G measures bond durability for rubber to metal bonded components with a double shear cylindrical specimen while method H uses a quadruple shear specimen. In a nutshell, ASTM D429 provides a structured approach to evaluate the adhesion of rubber to rigid materials, primarily metals, which is crucial in various applications such as vibration control. Remember, while these methods may be used with a variety of rigid materials, metals are the most common. Stay informed and keep innovating.